This video was brought to you by Stoinberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? We are now in the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus made in China. And this, yeah, I always started like this in the beginning that uh, I drive the car without saying anything. It's the ASMR part. ASMR part. Maybe I should whisper here. Hey, what's up? You are now in the Tesla Model 3 and I'm gonna drive without saying anything. Why just whisper? Because that's what you're supposed to do when you have an ASMR video. Yeah, just enjoy the sounds, the natural sounds of the car. Yeah, that, that's ASMR. You can Google ASMR what it is, but as a little bit of ASMR, I don't want to brand this as ASMR because some people who are actually looking for ASMR video, they'd be like, what the heck is this she? He's talking shit to whole, half the video. It was great in the beginning until he opened his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but okay, so I realized that I haven't done a proper uh, driving impression of the SR Plus. So let me see, let's do the regular route. Oh, listen, 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 listen. Uh, okay, we need higher speed for that. that there's something about the rear motor in this made in China car. They they make a different sound than the than the um, Freeman car. Or I don't know. Maybe the Freeman car is updated. It maybe they changed the motor. I don't know. But I like that sound. I pointed out before in some other videos, and you guys also seem to like it. It's actually. I think that's, that, that must be a real sound. Tesla, they don't deal with, they don't make fake engine sound. This is the real sound of the motor spinning up. Let's see now, let's get over to, oh, that's, a, that's an X-Bank G3 with a with an alien camera on top. Huh, interesting. Oh shit, wait. Does it mean that these guys are gonna go slow now? Because I was, I was planning on hammering it. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, um, Let's wait for them to um, move a little bit more forward. I, I need space. I need, 
I need lots of space. Yeah, let's uh, actually let's uh, let's go a little bit slow here. We have to wait. There might be some people here who just wanna push in. Okay. Okay. Let go. Let go. Oh, that's it's like a jet engine about to take off. Oh man. Uh, okay. Oh, and an autopilot here is just king. Yeah, I mean, sorry guys, but I've tried so many autopilot systems and none of them are really remotely close to Tesla when it comes to how, how confident it stays on the lane. Okay, this one, I don't have auto lane change, so I can't change lane uh, automatically. You have to pay for that enhanced autopilot, but also the enhanced autopilot is superb. The only minus with Tesla are those freaking uh, phantom braking but the phantom braking is actually less in this one huh. you know when I picked up Optimus Prime I drove a Model X with AP2 I think it was it was a Model X it was pre Model 3 yeah? and that one was phantom braking like a boss it was phantom braking all over it and it was hard phantom braking like, but then when I came back to this one uh, model 3 i realized okay we have phantom braking but it's actually not braking that hard and not that often but it seems like the development on the old ap2 cars they kind of stopped so that's why it's bad so yes we have phantom braking but uh, it's actually not that bad as it could it was before and then i'm gonna shut up This thing is quick. I mean, we have around 300 horsepower here, and actually, some people say it's cl it claims it's actually slightly more than 300 horsepower. But it is schnell. This is the slowest Tesla, and it's still so much fun to drive. So let's talk a little bit about soundproofing. Uh, under the hood here, on the well, let me just use all the pilot. Under the hood here, on both sides here, if you open the hood front you will see some wings that look like uh, like a uh, um, window I will call them um, wipers but those are actually wind deflectors to reduce wind noise and I can feel like we have less wind noise here in this this one from made in China but also the um, the Fremont cars should also have this upgrade and something about the suspension the, the ride is better more pleasant than the previous one for example uh, my MC Hammer that I had right now over here it's somewhat uh, noisy uh, asphalt but um, let me show you now we're gonna go to some smooth asphalt this is what you can expect in Netherlands or France and it's more way more quiet and if you try 2021 2019 model 3 and you try this latest one you will feel there's a difference it just sounds here's a bump listen 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 grum, 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 you know okay let's, let's go to the noisy part and then go with the bump there it has a more deeper sound uh, that the suspension all the her uh, from what i remember the old tesla's model 3s it had the more higher frequency and noise, which is less pleasant to listen to. Uh, I talk about this many times that I personally prefer uh, a deeper sound and deep, deeper noise rather than a high pitch or higher frequency noise. And also when I listen to, uh, not to when I listen to other uh, cars, especially the German cars, they also have a deeper sound. It sounds like the, the noise has been dampened. So what I'm trying to say is that they have been improving something here with the Model 3. I used to own a 2019 Model 3. I also have been driv driving other Model 3s in the, over the years. And I wasn't that happy with the noise. I was complaining about the noise. I even paid lots of money to dampen the noise, but they have done something here. Oh, okay. Now suddenly it wants to change uh, speed limit, okay. Uh, so they've done something to dampen the noise here and also as for the ride i always thought that the ride in the in the old one was a bit harsh but they have done something to make it ride better more premium not so harsh over the bumps uh, but i still want to try to find some bumpy roads here maybe oh yeah here okay let's see let's see how about here let's go over these bumps
Okay, okay. It's not as good as, for example, EV6. EV6 was just... Mm, I like the EV6 dampeners, uh, Kia EV6. Uh, but I still feel like these are also great. Let me see. Let's uh, get over here, I guess. I'm trying to find more bumpy rods. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Not too bumpy over here. But uh, in general, I like the suspension on the, the latest Model 3 way better than before. The two, two, pro two things I disliked the most with the Model 3 was bad soundproofing and bad suspension or rough rough suspension but apparently they have solved it in this one wait go go, go. it's ready go go, go. man these fossils okay so how about that yeah again it's many you know also for me uh, you know you know how why it is so strange for me that i always have to defend my arguments every time I praise Tesla for something good, right? Have you noticed that? If I say that, oh, I love the Ionic 5, oh, the ride is so great, EV6, oh, the suspension is great, oh, it, the Ionic 5 is quiet, oh, yeah. Uh, people are like, oh, yeah, yeah, I agree, I like, they like the Ionic 5, but every time I say, oh, I like the big screen here in Tesla, they'll be like, yeah, but the interior is shit. I'm like, dude, why are you trying to talk down on Tesla all the time? They have good shit and they have bad shit, right? So, this screen here single screen is brilliant in the beginning when i had model x and i tried i look at the model 3 when i even when before i even tried the model 3 i was like how is this gonna work one screen only no no, no. i prefer a screen here many people also agree agree with me right you want to have an instrument cluster well yes why do you want an instrument cluster here behind the steering wheel because you're used to it right uh, but think about this in most cars nowadays you have usually a small screen usually smaller than this let's say something like this ish and then you have another screen here instrument cluster and then you have to then look behind here for some information and then you have to look here for some other information so why not just make this one a touch screen you just move the instrument cluster here makes it a touch screen so you can actually do some operations here for example you can touch here to change speed limit based on i mean speed based on the speed limit you can then swipe do some stuff here so you can actually use some of this because it's a whole touch screen and then what is important is that you don't have to move your eyes between here and here you want to see something you want to see some map here you want to see some speed here you want to see navigation you want to see music you want to see uh, more stuff in here range here so your eye has to co constantly move left and right here to see information but if you have it here it's way better you look at the speed you look at what gear you are in speed limit trip data map everything is here so your eye needs to move less this is what I realized after using the Model 3, a single screen. Like in the beginning, I didn't like it, but after using it for a while, I realized that this is brilliant. It's just that your brain has been programmed that, no, you don't like this, you wanna have something here. Why? You, this one is actually bigger. This screen is bigger than two smaller screens and you have more information and it's easier to use. It's more ergonomic. You can actually zoom in on stuff and you can see it sharp. So again i love it i love it there are of course stuff here that i don't like for example that in order to adjust the mirror you have to actually have to click here uh, you see even i don't remember yeah you have to click here and then click on mirrors and then you can adjust the mirrors or steering wheel same you have to click here and then steering wheel but you don't the thing is that you don't adjust this often at all like i set it once for my profile and then i never touch it because as soon as you adjusted your mirrors and steering wheel and everything then you're good you don't have to do that every day so let me just turn around here um so anyway so that's you see i have to or i have to really defend my uh, choices why i like it like this but then it comes to just the whole how is it to drive the model 3 standard range plus it's the cheapest tesla it has the shortest range but it can still go about 440 kilometers i measure it they unlock more capacity lately so we have three kilowatt hour more so we actually have about ooh, 50 uh around 53 kilowatt hour 
roughly of net capacity down to zero percent and like we have shown you this car is fast it's also light easy to drive um it's packed with features like a motorized lift gate two wireless charging pads electric adjustable seat with memory for the driver with profiles electric adjustable steering wheel uh, built in um, is that guy gonna break no okay he's it seemed like he wasn't gonna break then i would just slide forward yeah because he's supposed to yield but uh yeah, yeah sentry mode uh dash cam feature this car is packed with features and nice nice convenient features and high-tech stuff you could say yeah no car is perfect okay again i need to be defend everything here <laughs> but this car is not perfect i'm not no i've never said it's perfect uh, for example headroom might be limited storage space might be limited you can't fit your big dog in here because it's it's a sedan opening it's not a hatchback yes of course but when you look at if you try to score it the range score the range score the the um the charging speed score the efficiency score the super stable app score the brilliant infotainment here score everything uh, the, info, the the interior the features and then of course give minus score for stuff that you don't like and then you will see that this car will still get pretty high score not maybe even top score uh, so in my opinion this is one of the best cars for the money as for now standard range plus so <laughs> i know some of you guys will disagree with me well too bad uh but really i've been driving so many cars and i always come back to that this is a freaking awesome uh, car to drive and then maybe i should uh, try to drive it a little bit faster yeah it's, it's you you have to you have to try it okay it, it doesn't have that german feel over the steering wheel suspension uh ride really it doesn't it doesn't feel anything like let's say uh, an id3 or a taycan or uh, yeah i just mentioned some, uh, i the the ionic 5 or it feels but it feels so light that's the thing i'm just driving around here it feels light it feels nimble it's it's so fun whoa, 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 whoa. i don't want to go through red light red light no 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 um can I can I ninja in here? What the heck is what the heck is this thing? Let's go in here. Okay, let's uh, let's do a little uh, flip mode here. Well, we can we can just ninja out here. Okay, okay. okay. Um, but it's just so easy to drive. Let, let me just show you how easy it is to drive. You see, you stop the car, you exit, you go out, you close the door, everything shuts down. You come back in. Take a seat, push the brake, buckle up, pu uh, set, put the car in gear, and you go. <laughs> you know, uh, it's so easy to use it around town or and it, when you have your errands, and it's so easy to drive. And I'm not saying this just because it's a Tesla. No, no, no. Like I said, I've been driving so many cars, and I keep coming back that this is such a pleasant car to drive the whole experience with it when you, when you sit in and you have that well you have the uh, the, the bluetooth key uh, let me see let me focus a little bit on where, where am i supposed to go now yeah okay and oh as for the seat okay let's talk about the negative stuff the seats are great uh the only problem is that it lacks well no, some problems that it lacks uh adjustable headrest that's one minus um also some people are lack are missing that extra leg uh, support that many german cars have so for me that's not the problem because i'm a short asian 173 centimeters uh but the seats tends to get sweaty because there's some synthetic material here that's if especially if the sun is shining i get sweaty uh it, it, the seat doesn't breathe that much but it is comfortable i love sitting in here uh, compared to many other um, seats, especially the German seats in general, they are a little bit um, uh, hard, firm. Yeah, they're firm. So for me, I like softer seat. This, I guess, is just a matter of preference. So usually, after many hours of sitting in German cars, I tend to get butt hurt. <laughs> yeah, but in these ones, 
Great. So, usually what I talk about, yeah, yeah like autopilot. I, I can't show you too much about autopilot. Again, like autopilot, normally with, with the other cars, I would go to the highway, right? On to the left here, you see the motorway for multi, uh, yeah, motorway, and then I use autopilot, and you can see how great the autopilot is, or the auto steer is on those roads. But Tesla, oh, okay, I was about to demonstrate something. Tesla can just do something like this: you enable autopilot on semi-twisty roads, and you see it works just fine, no problem. But okay, normally I would. I also don't use autopilot on these roads. I would normally just drive manually, but I'm just going to show you that Tesla has been perfecting the autopilot for so many years. It wasn't like this five years ago. Then it was buggy, it did weird shit, but just showing you how confident autopilot is today. Uh, and I keep saying that the autopilot is the best auto steer system I tried in any car because every time I try the other cars, they tend to bug, they, they, they slip off the line, they go over this side, over that side, they don't give you any warning if they disengage. Autopilot, Tesla, no problem. So, oh, sorry, I should have used blinkers. I wasn't sure where I was going. I'm just uh, rambling about this. But um, man, the Star Range Plus, uh, what am I supposed to say about it? I love it. I, I love it so much that I want to buy it, you know, and I don't, but the thing is that I don't need it <laughs> because I don't have time to drive it. Let me try the big and oh, bump. Let me just try it since we are here. So I'm going to test it out. Uh, those are really hard bumps. Just want to see what it feels like. This is going to be a long one, but uh, it seems like you guys enjoy these videos. So I will, of course, analyze them in, uh, in uh, Google Analytics to see what people are looking at or if they skip it. And then I will, of course, change my future videos based on uh, what people are seeing and skipping and also based on uh, feedback and comments about it. But I really feel like I need to talk. Oh, okay, Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> every car I drive kind of leaps like this because these are really hard bumps. <clears throat> okay, if you don't go too fast, then it's okay. Okay, let's, let's uh, go back, 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 back. Bigger, do you have anything here? Huh? I, I know they have Ionics here. I'm gonna borrow Ionic from this place again, eventually. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I should also mention the backup camera. Now, sometimes it is a bit laggy like we saw here, but most of the time it's smooth and we have also the repeaters here not too useful but again it's nice to have them here at least uh, similar to ionic 5 they also can show this but they don't show you they show you when you blink and stuff right but this is sharp the only thing i don't like about this is that the color representation is a bit weird sometimes in the day and now it looks okay but in the daytime or there's some times where yellow looks orange or it was worse before uh they i think they fix it a little bit with software update but um, in the model s and x the color representation is better but just the nitpicking it's still sharp backup camera and all that uh, let me just go over the bumps again but i can't tell you how much time i spend in this model 3 driving on trips well not only this model 3 but in general model 3 but especially the latest one here i've been i've been doing some tests with it some challenges and Actually, let me go back here. And you know, many cars which has front wheel drive or rear wheel drive, uh, not all wheel drives, they just launch like a rocket, uh, electric cars. But uh, like front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, let's say for example, the, the, the ID3, uh, it will limit the power once you try to push it a little bit out of the corner or something. Other cars tend to do the same thing. Once it, the, the, once the, um, um, the, once the traction control senses something, it will just limit the power. Look here. It allows a little bit of wheel spin. <laughs> so it makes it fun to drive, you see? I should have a I should have a camera f filming my face right now. Like, okay, maybe you shouldn't drive like that always, but I'm just saying that this car, rear wheel drive with 300-ish horsepower, 
It's so fun to drive and it's light, nimble, easy, comfortable now, packed with features. It, <laughs> I, it's a no-brainer and also they lowered the price not long time ago. So especially well in countries where you don't have the EU uh, tax, uh, for example in Norway or in America and I guess other countries also outside the EU, then this one is usually a, a big good bargain. And eventually one day when uh, Tesla uh, in well, Giga Berlin start pumping out uh, Model 3s, then this one should be cheaper because then they will then bypass the, the EU import tax. And I should also talk maybe about the headlights since it's getting dark now. The headlights here, oh, they are great. Um, they, they are not adaptive, but they do shine strong and wide. I'm not going to talk too much about this because I already have it in other videos, but just mentioning that, like I said, this car is just so packed with features and good, mostly good features, some negative features, but so many good features that I, I don't know what else to say. Um, uh, really, this is probably the best car I've tested this year uh, in this price, also if you consider the price, but of course you can uh, Taycan rides better, no doubt. Taycan is more quiet. Taycan is faster, but Taycan is like two, three times more expensive than this one. <laughs> so don't don't forget that one. Wait, 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 wait let me change my mind. Let's go over here. I'm gonna go over some speed bumps and see what happens. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you see, over the bumps, it still doesn't sound like a German car. So just bear that in mind. When I said yes, it's better. Listen. Yeah. And it's still, uh, I feel like Tesla has been tuned the, the Model 3 to be sporty rather than a boat or more comfy, like a leaf is more like a boat, you know. This one, they tune it to be sporty and I like it this way. Yeah, see? Uh, the Model 3 performance, however, I thought it was too harsh. The, that was the MC Hammer, the Model 3 performance from 2019. I haven't tried the performance latest one, but um, we, today video is about this one and I just love it, man. I just love it. <laughs> there are mostly things I love about this car. I don't, don't remember too many negative things about it. Uh, but again, let me remind you again, because I always have to defend this because Every time I test other cars, like the ID3 I tested today, the ID3 45 kilowatt hour, also brilliant car. That one actually cost 100,000 nook less than this one. So that one is also brilliant. Okay, it's kind of semi stripped down. It doesn't have electric adjustable seats even. Uh, they, they had to strip down on stuff. On board charger is slower, but it's still a damn good car for the money, that ID3. And the funny thing is that every time I praise the ID3, I don't have to defend my. Uh, my opinions <laughs> well okay anyway i think we're gonna just go home now so um this was a, like a quick summary try to show you guys some of the driving experience with the model 3 but also to talk about it and make it like a summary uh, about my uh, my total verdict of the model 3. Uh, i understand now why there are so many model 3s around norway and that i understand why my view, so many of my followers they have model 3 standard range plus because it's a damn good car for the money it's not perfect but it just does everything so well just one last thing i should mention is that i measured this car to have 440 kilometers of range and that is actually almost on par with an old tesla model s 80, with the 85 kilowatt hour pack simply because this one is way more efficient <laughs> what the okay you guys you guys won't believe this but uh, i'm just gonna take a picture here um that uh, the we've been driving around town now right and the consumption is 123 watt hour per kilometer you won't believe me until you see the picture we, we, we've just been driving wait oh no 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 i did i i stopped yeah i stopped and i walk, walked out there okay 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 we have another one here this is since last time since i charged the car yeah yeah yeah, yeah. this is the one just to show you how freaking efficient this car is <laughs> oh. well okay anyway um 
yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Now we just wait for all the hate comments to come. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.